hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another video and here we are talking about next js 13 showcase so we are going to build another application with the help of uh, using next js 13 so what we are going to do here is a simple demo where we are going to build a simple application and what this application is about uh, it's not too much dynamic here we are going to create a routes let's say the movies which will show all the movies from the IMDb APIs and then there is a child route I'm going to create which is movie ID okay and then there will be a components to display a particular movie detail so this is pretty much we have it's like movie detail okay with the help of this particular route now this is going to be the app directory i mean if we just put it inside app directory there is a movies this is like a folder we are going to have so what all things we are going to have inside the app directory because on the landing page we are going to have a synchronous component that will launch our page so loading dot jsx and page dot jsx so loading and layout because we are going to use a root layout which you can also have error dot jsx and head dot jsx this head dot jsx will populate the meta properties in the head this is for seo error dot js if any error occurred in the while writing while executing any server components so error dot js will come into picture if you are doing some asynchronous code in the server components then loading dot jsx will automatically get rendered first until unless the promise is resolved page.jsx which is actually rendering your component and your loading similarly all those things we can place in the movie detail these all are both are server components right because we are going to make an api call to external interface so it's like an external imdb apis with the api key okay otherwise what you can do is you can also create your own routes in the pages api routes i'm talking about so here let's say i have a pages and through the pages what you can do is you can make a get put post calls and then these server components can make a call to the apis okay this is going to fetch all the movies this is going to fetch the movie by id or what happens is let's say you are writing an actual backend in your application so in that case you can in further videos i will be using prisma so here you can use prisma and prisma gives you prisma client i mean prisma is a good orm in the node.js typescript so it's a prisma client and this prisma client we can consume through the apis okay let's say i have a prisma database and here it is going to get the data from the postgres or mongodb or whatever here I have a database okay so there are both the possibilities here I'm just going to access the external IMDB API and mount the data and get it from there if you write your own APIs then instead of depending on this you can use these APIs which you have created inside the pages so here I can just create an API directory inside API I can define my APIs like a movies.ts okay and define my get put post methods and that will use prisma clients to make the queries and make the data available here in this example demo example we just have a two directories one is app inside a movies that will have a loading page.js layout head error and movies will have further uh, directory with id because here we are we are we need to access the id path to get a particular movie detail then movie detail is a component that will give us all the data which is available you can override the the meta properties like seo properties at every place because this you need to have, add a head.jsx and it will automatically update the seo properties for that particular page because this page is different for seo and this page is different okay let's uh, play with this simple example inside src we'll create a uh, movies 
and we are also going to create components components helpers and whatever you wanted to create component helpers utilities i just have constant helpers and pages if you want to have some apis inside app i will create uh, pages okay why we are going to use the components let's say i'm going to write a server based components server side components but as a children it can render a client side component which uses the react state and all so this is the movie is a server side component it is going to render a movie list component so movie list component i mean you will just fetch the data and pass the data here using props so this will make the api call because this is a server component and using this async asynchronous component this is asynchronous async movie component and data fetching stuff is being done in the server component it will pass the data to the movie list and then we will apply the filters okay i want to see the action thriller movies comedy movies romance movies and all that all these things can be done inside a movie list because we have the data now we can play with the filters so all these things are happening inside a react component this is the client side so app directory app directory will have only movies and let's say here i'm going to have a layout sorry for the typo layout.jsx and then inside app uh, error.jsx head dot jsx and other files we have is page dot jsx page and then loading dot jsx so whatever you are putting inside app will always be either a server component or a client component but for the client component let's say i'm going to create a page dot js as a client component then I need to declare it ex explicitly. This is the client side or client only. I always forget. If you're not specifying this, that means it is a server component tree. This can be a client component because you are going to use Re React, Redux, or state management. All these things you can put here. And those components can be imported by the components which are defined here inside an app. Like let's say I'm creating a server component inside app, which is, uh, let's say, let's create it inside page.jsx let's say export default this is async component uh, async function home or movie whatever the name you wanted to put and we will create the layouts and all for it here you are going to do async operation you will get the data and what you will do is you will return something from this and let's say you are returning here whatever the async stuff asynchronous stuff you are going to write let's say function or we can just directly call it here directly write a code here const response equal to await fetch some url okay then const data equal to await response dot json And this data you are going to pass to some components which are not inside app component app directory so because these are the react components you will pass the data let's say here i'm calling it's a movie list and you'll pass the data whatever the data we have received and now this movie list component you will create inside this components so inside components we'll create a movie and movie list another folder is movie list so movie list is something which we are going to render on this page.tsx page.gsx and let's populate some of these uh, components in the head we are going to simply say okay these are the meta properties the loading component 
okay whenever async operation is happening i will be rendering this component loading page.gsx here i'm going to write my function of fetching the movies so first of all like uh, we are going to use this imdb apis this imdb api to fetch the movie list we can also look into this what i'm going to use so these are the api documentation and i will talk about it like what is the api url we are going to hit so i'm going to talk about the movies and get all movies so here you can use these to play around your some pocs and examples get videos get all movies so this kind of apis you get from here and you just need to get an api key for that thing you can go to here api overview i think settings and uh, apis and it will give you the api key something like this okay so coming back here let's write over this component so what we are going to do we are going to hit the actual api which is let's say create an endpoint first const and point and this endpoint is nothing but uh, we already have a token key which we will get from process.env and i'm going to hit this endpoint and here i can pass the validate property revalidate in 3000 i think these are seconds if uh, i got the data so let's say if we have a data we can render it something like this if i got the data successfully because maybe the api key is not wrong in that case you need to render appropriate error pages so here i need to return this otherwise what we will do is uh, we will return the movie list else for now just uh, json dot stringify whatever we are getting let's say empty result maybe null if there is an error then obviously a different stuff we need to handle otherwise what you can do is you can wrap it inside a try catch inside a catch return an error component or we will use this error dot gsx for it okay we got the data and we are not now going to write movie list component and this api key we need to get so first of all let's import movie list component from now we need to get it from components movie list and inside a movie list folder i will create index.gsx so inside movie list we can create index.gsx i mean you can write in the typescript also i have a ts config support here just going with gsx you can also use tsx so movie list component what this movie list is about you you will get the data and what kind of data we will see that in the demo like uh, export default function movie list and you will get the data in the props okay so here i'm getting the data as a props and here we can use all the hooks and all because we are going to play with the filtering here so const okay first of all let me show you how it really looks like the the data do i have it yes so this is the data we are going to get json parser online and we will just dump this and we will see what uh, this how this json looks like okay results total pages blah blah and this is all about movie and then we will do a filter based on these junior ids okay 16 12 35 okay so we will just get all these ids and uh, these are actually the different uh, genres which i got from this something like this like for all for comedy the genre id is 35 12 1 27 so based on that we will filter this data if 28 is there 
let's say if 35 35 is for, for for comedy so we'll just create a multiple types and based on that we'll filter the data from the results object okay this is how it looks like now coming back here so it's all about how we are doing the the filtering from the component so first of all let's create this constant which we are going to use and then here we can get a because here we are going to do the filtering so it's all about using the youth state hook and all filtered data set filtered data and we will just use a huge state hook and initialize a huge state with the copy of whatever the data we are getting filter data set filtered data okay now there can be a because we are going to show the tabs so we are going to see what is the active index currently so this is the hook we are going to get active uh, or you can say active or set active that index will print and what we are going to return the whole gsx inside this and what this gsx is on the top we will just create a genuine map it's all about uh, how we do a simple ulli so first of all let's put in inside a d expression so we got the genuine map and here when you click on to this we'll just mark that id as an active right so this is how it will work so once you click on a particular tab we will just mark that as an active and that id will be here inside active and here we are going to create a genuine button genuine button who whatever the id is there that will become highlighted i was initially writing it as a typescript so this is all genuine component we have now let's see how it looks like right now and we are getting the movies so we need to filter all the movies data and we can create a simple movie component that will render our movies so after this ul we can create a div with a grid and we are using tailwind so we can just put the class names uh, i'm not good at the, the writing the uis and all i'm just using some simple class grid column fluid and uh, gap between the grid columns is 16 and margin vertical is 8 and inside this div we are going to render all the movies filter data dot length so this is all about react now it's it has nothing to do with what we are doing in the next js filter data if it is length is greater then what we can do is we can just run a loop onto this so if this is all true then i can just run a loop filter data dot map i will get the the data movie individual movie data and then i can just pass this data to a movie component so i need to return it movie and we will just pass key as a movie dot id which we have in the data structure and then movie property we are passing a simple this is how we write react i'm not doing any magic here so filter data dot length we got all the loop and we render each and every movie property so this is the something which we are going to play here we are going to do the filtering also because there is a tab and when you click on it we are making that tab active so this is all about simple react logic we need to write we can use use effect hook and in the inside a use effect the dependency is what is the active index if the active index is changing we will call this data set filtered data so this we are going to set the new filter filtered data right because somebody has clicked on the tab that has become active so what we will do now is we will do the filtration so this is the copy which we have received data dot filter because this is the the pure copy original copy right this will always be there as the the whole json object which we have received so here we will access the individual property if uh, and then if i is there if we got active 
active index is there right so what we will do is i dot junior ids dot includes we are not writing type script so we are not getting autocomplete and this is active index if it is there then we are good and let me see what we are doing here we are doing filter based on this condition if active means some something has been clicked then we are checking this particular condition otherwise we will just return that value okay so if you have clicked on particular tab it's not zero right if active is not zero if active is zero that means i'm going to there is no filtration happening i'm going to get all the data but when you click on some active index then this will be non zero and then we have to check this a uh, junior id contains that active index or not simple filtering we are doing here and in just a one line you can write a function also this is the callback of the this huge state when you are doing set you can write a callback and this data will be set inside a new state filter data okay now we can just play with the simple example here let's say i, I also need to create a movie component uh, individual movie component that we are going to render so let's say we don't have it for now we'll just comment this out inside these pages inside the movie component we can create a movie component strictly i mean simply what movie component will be doing is getting the data and rendering it export default function movie we will get the movie data in the props so we'll destructure it and here we'll get all the properties of movie from the movie object and what all properties do we have that we can check from here okay id language title overview description popularity all those properties we are getting so we'll just put it inside the movie and then it's all about uh, returning a jsx with a div i will do the beautification later like uh, putting some motions and all and here we are going to use link and so we will just import the link and image properties so let's run this application uh, what we are doing is we need to export the imdb api key and nvm use v16.18.0 16.18.0 and then npm run dev so we just have only these components uh, movie list and movie component so we'll just play with them these are the tabs and this is how the simple filter is working right this is just a simple showcase now we need to also have an endpoint when you click on to this we need to render the particular movie dt right so what we can do for that so we can create a movie id this is another page inside this and page.jsx for it okay so it's just like another page we have it is fetching that particular movie detail based on the movie id and then just rendering that jsx this is just a simple react part okay but this is a server component okay because it is fetching the data and this is the async component page we are getting the movie id so this is how we access the params passed in the component because this is coming from the the routes here when you click on it we will pass the movie id movie and the id so this is how we will get access the movie id from the params and this movie id is actually a folder inside this so we have a page.jsx similarly you can have a loading.jsx inside it so we can put the same thing in the loading.jsx whatever we have sorry loading.jsx so this is just another route we have created movie id and this is how we will access the parents and then you can make api call and then it also is asynchronous component you are getting the data and now you can play with this data here i'm just showing this data with this tailwind utility helpers okay this is the movie name id and this is how you can navigate to home 
so uh, this is home and these are the filters our filters are working because we are filtering inside this component our basic code we have written set filter data based on the active index okay and i mean this is just a simple demo i'm not going too much into like styling and how we are writing the component because that you already know the concept here is how we are writing the the different routes and different routes and then different state different uh, components and different pages you can add so this is the app directory structure here we created these two server components so here i have created a loading.jsx for this route anyone you can copy all these components like head.jsx if you want to customize the meta properties and you can have its own layout so let's say movie id this is another route okay first of all we need to customize it a little bit and this dot props dot children i mean we just need to enter the children but here you can have a different layout for this movie id component this is for populating the seo properties this is the loading state loading uh, a movie details okay and if we run this I will go to home, I can see the loading and then I can click on it, you can see the loading is coming up, I mean that's just for a second, so you won't be able to see it properly, but loading movie details, you see, okay, so this is how you can have these, you can have its own layout for this particular route where we are just rendering a movie detail, currently I don't have anything, so I'm just rendering the children, it's like a sub layout I have. This is the head for SEO meta property. This is for the loading property like here because this is also a server component which is doing asynchronous stuff. So we can show the, the loading. Similarly, we can have error.gsx here to show some error behavior. So this is all about in this simple example how we are rendering the components, defining the server side routes and then passing the data to the child components to play with the React state because these all components are client side components because here we are doing just data passing and here inside this movie list we are playing with the hooks like the use state and use effect so let's see the another example with the prisma and doing some database stuff in the next video where we are going to create a server side components and the routes page routes which are going to read the data and write the data inside the postgres